Now, the period, it is pertaining to some specific time, no? Wherein it is being raised, no? Or being, uh, being born, this particular history. And the style pertaining to some period of the different techniques, no? On showing their type of art. While on the second one, you have the major characteristics. What are the most, no? Things that been happen during that period. And char characteristics that been made, no? Through that one so we have also the famous artist the one who made and then the work no along with that is the uh the contribution no in the specific uh, artworks that they made before so now we have the prehistory so we know that the prehistory is not you know like looks like you no know, that what we have right now it's not really you know, a full of many of different kinds of uh, elements materials have been used then so as we observe most of them no are simple most of them are not elegant no as to compare to nowadays no? next we have the major characteristics which is the paleolithic period and then uh the major characteristics that then observed no during that one is the early people though i am you know, hunters and gatherers one while on the famous artists we have the Caves, no, wherein we found the herd of the rhinoceros is the uh, 32,000 before Kaisira. And they believe that these caves, no, are be part of the rituals and rites, yung mga murals and other things inside the caves that been uh, right in the wall of caves. So at the same time, so as they observe, no, as they check, no, the archaeologists one and other people who discovered this one sa Arctic region, sa France, so it has no a lot of different animals, 600 no animals and have a horses and different types of animals also that have been present, no, that being painted or mural inside of it. And right now, it is a, a public no, cave tourist spot no, in that region. So next, what do we have? Oh, by the way, the herd of rhinoceroses is an example of this. So this one is an animal no, of uh, rhinoceroses. No? Being heard yung ating pinakasungay na meron tayo. Well, yung ancient art before, no, the 3000 to 800 before Christ era, they have no a major characteristics that we use of the uh, medium of fresco. We know that the fresco, no, to give you uh, another recap, no, for this type of medium, na a fresco is some kind of a popular type of painting na medium that we used before. And the fresco are colors, you know, that mix with the water and it's been applied, you know, to a fresh plaster, which will be the one to absorb now the color of the uh, mixtures, you know, that we have that we prepare and going to paint to the subject matter on the canvas or in the plates. So the fresco are widely used, you know, for some purposes na in painting, like in battery, you know, in lagayan, no, isang uh, vessel. So home, sa bahay, could be you no know, in the place of inside you no know, one. So the tomb decoration, mostly in the Egyptian time, these are things you no know, that can be uh, observed and uh, heard the news about the tomb, you no know, of the coffins uh, from the recent one you know, that they get you know, from the Giza, and now it's being displayed in the museum, you no know, in Giza, Egypt, you no. Know? And next we have the designing large places like what they have inside their castles no and inside of it they will have you no know, a different uh, murals and pictures of different uh, objects materials or human beings as a subject matter so we have the eastern civilization where it started between the egypt you no know, and ruyutria and these are called you know, the Aegean region one and mostly of the works that they have is portraying the paraos and the Asia. this is like the, um, the, the head of Nefertiti. Now we have also yung ating abos a symbol Ramses. These are the architectural and sculptural you know, uh, arts that we have. So we have also yung mga hieroglyphics one that we described in some mga wall, mga murals that we have. And these you know, are have a great you know, important you know, uh, use because they do believe this art are part of their culture and plays you no know, a great importance in the afterlife and also they are well known you know, in the kind of distinct quality of paintings on the wall 
and on the papyrus. So in the papyrus one, these are the paper that they made use before na kanila ibinodrawing yung isang wagon. So like this one that we have. So you can see here a picture of a person or individual no? It, uh, getting no, some kind of an action. And of course, you have some objects, some animals that could be no, a symbolic for them during that period. Next is the Greek art. So when you hear the word Greek art, that comes first in your mind is a mythology. No? So Greek, the gods and goddesses, yes, that is true that that's what we have right now. So it has divided into three periods. You have the archaic, classical, and Hellenistic. But then again, no, in Greek art, that they survived before, mostly are sculptures, no, that uh, the subject are humans, no? And why is it, no, a little of the survive of the Greek paintings are being uh, conserved? It is because it could not be easy, no, for us, no, or for them before to preserve the painting. Number one, yung way of a uh, life that, that they have before we're really going to uh, stop or itatago. Many more, no? And we have many forces like yung mga atmospheres natin, yung, yung climate, no? And throughout that time, you know, hindi ganun ka-permanent yung uh, uh, nag-take nag 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 over nung uh, migamit at nag-aalaga. So, because from that, siguro a little bit of a survival lang ang meron sa treatment. So next, we have yung base piece. So, in base painting, yung vessel that we have, so sa kanila, they use, no, and they, they paint, no, some of the characters and civilizations, customs, and traditions as to their, no, lives, so that, what they, they have, no, before. And what do we have now is the mythologies of the Dionysus cup, the portraits of the gods, no, of the Dionysus crossing the sea. So, this is the picture of example of base painting. So, in the civilization, they're trying to portray, no, that their life, how is it looks like. While the Dionysus cup is pertaining of the, the gods, no, are um, crossing not the sea, the one that they have, not the Dionysus. Next is the Roman art. So in Roman art, we have heavily influenced by the Greeks. So the Greeks are known for the works of statues and massive architecture. So conceptually, if we're going to look at the uh, Greeks, no, we have some gods and goddesses. Uh, yung Temple of Zeus, the Parthenon, no? and many more. These are some of the statues in massive architecture that can be found during the Greek no? and even the Roman Empire or period during that time. So in the Roman art, we have also the Colosseum, the Gladiator, the different forms no, of the architecture that we have, Colosseum, so and many more. No? And Roman art also in the center no, of many different kinds of uh, Greeks, no? Na pwede din makita natin. And if you're going to uh, search in the Google, no, in the arts, Google Arts, uh, that's the internet, you can be found on the Roman, no, there are many Greek no, uh, sculptures that, that we have and still being there, you know, and one of the great no, contribution of their history. And then have a little Roman paintings have survived, so that no, I didn't even mention many uh, ideas of things that we can be seen to adding survival no, ng mga paintings. So then again, as like what I mentioned from the previous one in the Greek, so that it could not be easily not to revive those paintings because it doesn't have any idea of how to protect them from any harm, no, and how they will be uh, uh, save these following paintings no, from the uh, different no uh, catastrophic one na, na encounter na during that time. So merong war, merong changes of the empire merong mga nagsira o kung ano mang nangyari. So, many more no, that been happen. So, in the few centuries after this one of the fall of the Roman Empire, the arts are become exclusively religious in general. So, it because the Christianity become legalized in Rome. So, that's why no, during the 313 Anno Domino, it has become declared as an official religion of the empire no, that night. And before that, we have the mga Christians are persecuted no, because of their faith. And because of their unwavering faith, no, in the midst of turmoil, sa kaguluhan, no, sa iba-ibang panahon, eh, they hide, no, in the underground. And then, 
they found out that, that they have secret frescoes no, on the walls of the catacombs in the Rome's. So that's why you know, if you're going to watch you know, I think the VG Code, the one of the Greek movies that I've been watching you know, before, I share to you, no, this one, uh, I recommend to watch it because uh, great art, great movie, and it has you know, a lot of major contributions if you are studying like this course, the Art Management Society and Art Appreciation subject. So next, next is the some of the examples of the pictures that we can be found or murals inside the hiding underground painted by you no know, fresco media. So next we have also yung looks na ating underground pa rin, and how did they do uh, lives before you no know, and how did they design the life of their structures and even the paintings and even the markers you no know, inside the field. Well, we will be moving on to another style you know, or period, which is the medieval period. Well, in the medieval period, it most you know, prospered or spread the different areas in the Europe and Christianity. So therefore, the Christianity makes them look big or greater than ever the sophistry of uh, having nila doon sa Roman. So that's why we have yung mga other works na meron na tayo are more on, on the character, sorry, na mga uh, gods and god, gods no from the biblical characters no, na images no like Mary, Jesus and many more angels no inside of it no as a center of their subject matter. So we have here the mosaics and created the Byzantine Empire. So one of the great uh, thing that had been done before and during the medieval period and until now is being revived and used no na meron tayo. and uh, let's go with tempera. So we have already discussed the fresco as to give you know a superficial idea. It's already been discussed no before. So what is tempera naman no in our discussion for this afternoon? Ganun din bibigyan din ako ng superficial because it's already been discussed also. So this is a mixture of ground pigments as like with the fresco. So but this at this point no uh, there is an uh, difference because you will be used a colloidal vehicle. So that colloidal vehicle will be could, could be used no, as uh, an egg yolk one no meron tayo, yung egg, gum, or glue no, in the present one in your condition and your environment that could be available during that time. And even during the Egyptian civilization are being used these two, two resources. Na to. So it is being uh, widely used in the medieval and renaissance painters no? and until now it is being used today. And of course uh, what special character of tempera is a, a being no, an emulsion one of when it comes to emulsion it is a watery milk one or mixture of oily or water consistency that can create no vibrant colors no, to produce no, the subject matter the subject object will be great on your painting or in the canvas so it could be done no for some no in a uh, mixtures of color in egg yolk. So yun yung mostly na gamit or resources. So we have here, no, the Madonna with Child and Six Angels one as the works, no, na meron tayo and the adoration of life. So it's like what I mentioned here, uh, it is centered, no, on the biblical characters, no, like yung sa doctrine sa Catholicism is more on Mary and Jesus with angels at what So it has, no, a uh, story behind of that one na meron. So they are now laying on the ground, yung ating Mary sa buwan niya, sitting no, as the one of the uh, uh, reigning queen no, na tinatawag on earth as a heaven. So next we have the adoration of the Magi when when Jesus no, was being born, the, the three kings been there, they visited, they give gifts, no, and they adore Jesus no, as one of the savior na sinasabi na has two uh, Catholic doctrine no, church. These are some of the works that have been made by Giotto. So most of them are the sceneries, most of them are the pictures no, of the biblical characters, many more no, as to practice na mga uh, Catholic. So also this one. So it's also part mga palaspas, adoration, yung uh, pagkamatay ni Christ. And then you also yung the supper, no? So yung huling hapun. Next, what do we have is yung Renaissance period. So Renaissance, early 14th and 16th century, dito naman dumating yung use of oil painting. 
painting. Then again, you will be having now a superficial discussion of all painting. So, all painting is and pigments are mixed with in oil. So, kaya nga oil painting. So, this is the surface that you choose for you know, a canvas or other super surfaces like yung woods, yung panels natin na meron tayo, or paper or metal. So, also, uh, it is being widely used no, because it is a familiar type of no, uh, method and during no, the 15th century one. So, that's why no, in the period, it is being revived now 14th to 16th century. Next, it is the pigments no, that can be came from any sources of no, materials like minerals, vegetables, no, or matter no, na meron ta, or chemical combinations. And most of the genre that been made during that time that being emerged is landscape, nude, portrait, and still life are also one of the subject matter of patronage of making use of an old painting art in the Renaissance. So what we have is the birth of Venus. So the birth of Venus is the signals of reappearance of the nude female form in the Western uh, art. So that is the Greco-Roman period. And we're going to look on that one later in picture provider natin. So we will see you now the history also of this one. So also we have other people who are involved you not know, during the time in the Renaissance period. So like Michael Michelangelo who works you know, in the Sistine Chapel. So the painting done like he own sa ginawa niya ng the creation of Adam. You know? And Raphael we have works you now about the School of Athens while another da Vinci is the Mona Lisa. You know? Let's try to look no more and describe the birth of Venus. So we have the birth of Venus wherein can be found yung ating uh, uh, gods and goddesses nga sabi sa inyo that uh, pumunta lang to sa dagat no, uh, sorry nag, inalilin siya ng dagat no, inano dito papunta dito at nagtos at biglang lumabas at paglabas ng kabibi na yun at nakita natin no, isa ng magandang bilag na sa uh, kinalabasan no, na tinawag the birth of Venus o yung paglabas ng ating si Venus, no, the gods. Next is the Renaissance. Renaissance pa rin in early and 14th, but this one, yung early natin is yung 15th at yung high Renaissance, yung uh, uh, extreme one, 16th century. So, mostly of the Renaissance are the revival of the ancient forms and contents. So, that's why it's more on the goddesses, no, and other works of which no describe about the uh, biblical characters also and also the nude and portrait ones because Mona Lisa is here so we have here the Renaissance painting of Leonardo's the Vinci code I uh, sorry the Leonardo's uh, uh, painting the last supper by the way no the Da Vinci code again movie or story it will also further discuss the last supper and their hidden meaning no, and then different no uh let's say uh yung mga uh, object no that they have to reveal about of it so they have Magdalene they have uh, the last descendant to see where we have also your pictures of something that can divulge about the womb the letter B and who are the apostles inside of it of the picture or in the painting of this so panorin niyo yun and you will be fascinated dito sa sinasabi kong movie na Next is the Mona Lisa. We have already discussed no this one, no and uh, one of the good thing no of the strategy ng ginawa dito na uh, pagpaint no is the stupamato technique, no yung stupamato technique natin which also give no a blending techniques which create no a perceptible transition, which no yung ating colors are can mimic beyond the human eye focusing, no and the painting technique could be. Uh, create no an illusion to create more a uh, blending tones to the overall impression of a picture or painting ni Mona Lisa or uh, with other objects no or subject matter. So these are some of the example. This one that I'm saying, take thought, uh, talking to you earlier no. Ito, itong vinato, it's another symbol, another thing that you can be found in the movie of the Vinci Code. So who is this person? Who among of this no, the one are present and not present and when they what uh what are the reason why they didn't have any halo here and many more no na medi natin mapanood sa da vinci code so have watch it and they can make cc now design our orange next uh, we're done with mona lisa also 
next is the renaissance variant but this point now will be the end of this uh, renaissance na so the more of the characters no or the major characteristics are devotional art of christian so that's why the paintings no are uh, changed now from the christian subjects well it's a greek and roman histories now from mythologies we're in makikita natin nga yung gawa ni michelangelo which commissioned by pope julius ii of the ceiling of the Sistine Chapel that been works now for four years and while here is the creation of Adam so we know that the story of the eight the creation of Adam and the last judgment no? for those Roman Catholics no you already noticed this one new creation of Adam that giving them no a life no to a man which no uh, which no uh, giving no the the first man no I don't see Adam na tinatawag ko. So, this is in the Bible, no? in the Genesis 1. While the last judgment is, is the second coming, no? That which located in the same chapel and Sistine Chapel sa altar. So, yung second coming it is about the the crisis risen again o muling pagkabuhay o Pasko ng pagkabuhay. So, we will celebrate, no, this one yung ating every Lenten season. So next, we have this here is the sample looks no, of the ceiling of the Sistine Chapel being been uh, uh, worked by uh, Michelangelo. So these are some of the detail. And also this one, the creation of Adam that I'm talking to. So here in front of you is the God and this one is the man of Adam that we giving no, and, uh, uh, the life of the Adam as the first man. So, we can learn the story of si Eden, the paggawa at sa niya kinuha si Eva, no? So, I will not going to elaborate more on the idea. Da. The Last Judgment, the Second Coming of Christ. So, we have also in Raphael, the School of Athens. Well, actually, the School of Athens, the figure of Plato and Aristotle, as the central no, balance of the position of this uh, picture. So in Vatican, the commemorate one, this is School of Athens. Well, actually, itong picture na ito, yung School of Athens, is kinuha ko yung picture lamang ni Aristotle and Plato. It's because of knowledge and wisdom that we created na two and their contributions in the philosophy and many more, no, other Greek, uh, other Greek personalities, no, before their time and their during that time. So it has no, a big no, a picture. So then again, you can search and watch uh, see it no, in the internet. While the mannerism is another style which in uh, changed no, the Renaissance, which called now rejecting the balance no, of the Renaissance. Well, the, it is favorably described as emotion and distortion. As like what you have an example of this one is you Madonna with long neck, where in uh, uh, picturized no, of the distortion of figures. So in the, in the process of presenting the subject matter, we have the picture of Madonna the long neck is distorted. It is being long, no? so elongated siya. because the body has been exaggeratedly painted and the distorted picture of the classical uh, picture of a subject matter from the natural way of presenting. So this is the picture of looks like you know, of a Madonna with a long neck one and distorted. No? So we have here Saint Madonna and his child Jesus, then the angels, we have Saint Michael. No? So next, what do we have more is the Barocco and Baroque. But before that, we have first no, the uh, Reformation. So there is a counter-reformation no, from the Martin Luther during the 16th century that they wanted to devastate the church. And the Catholic Church, as the reform of that, they created no or launch no this Council of Trent is to oppose to that one. So they are mostly no a create no yung ating movements by trying to portray a themes of Baroque period wherein the style are broadly expressive, dynamic and restless. So that's why the calling of Saint Matthew, the conversion of Saint Paul, and the works of Paul Rubens, no, and the raising of the cross, no, and the descent from the cross of Christ. So this could be the loop likes of dynamics and expressive, also restless picture of an example of painting. So uh, Christ this was being rising you know, on the cross. So alam natin yan, tapa panod natin yan every Lenten season, no? And along with that, with other uh, people, 
no and soldiers no during the time and this one they sent from the cross yung ibababa na siya at siya po ay lalagay na at dilinisin na sa kanyang tomb no sa isang cave while here the barok and rococo are highly exquisite no ornamentation it is because having are uh, really known of mere more decoration so that's why rococo hold no as e elegance and decorative charm so decorative and elegance are more most likely no works with different no uh different uh, uh twisting of many materials of using to put inside the fit no in the directly emotion somebody no, no subject matter and one of the great works of this one are the anatomy no the lesson of dr top the night watch and the john birmers in tears the Moon. so the first one that we have is the night watch we're in uh the story behind of this no itong mga soldiers na to nagkaroon kasi ng commotion nagkaroon ng gulo problem so yung mga nasigilid na yan yung mga nakalita yung mga ginukuha nila is yung mga taong sugatan no ayusin uh, nila at tung nandito na tinyente na to na namumuno during that time with the soldiers no and the people in the city that been happening so next is the anatomy of lesson of the part of wherein they describe the, the tissue the the human beings no and anatomy looks like and there are several no lessons we've been described here and uh, trying to uh, trying to describe no, the natural way of the science no discovery next is the milkmaid no sets it is a domestic so when you say domestic it is inside of the house that being uh, daily uh, chores daily works that being done no in their lives so the milkmaid they did doing no a milkmaid one next is the last meninas if you are a fan of the ted ed you will watch it's yung last meninas because it suggests the compositional focus in the front of the work with the viewers so you try to look and try to see an individual who are uh doing something on you in your front and these are looks like like what you have in last meninas but inside of the story of this painting are looks like you no know, i have been you know, yung parang ikakasal dito. So, that is true. Merang ikakasal. That's why yung medyo grand yung suit nila. And yung kung abay na bata na to. And together with this tong king na to. And then the people with this one, no, kung ano yung dahilan na meron dito. And he, their history in our background in their lives. Next is, we have the Neoclassism period. So, in the Neoclassism period, no, everything is being excessive reaction in Rococo and Baroque are being omitted. No? In the neoclassical, paintings are omit in the theatrics baroque. They devote of the pastel colors and haziness. So this one are example, yung work ni Nicholas Posin at saka yung Oath of the Horate. So we try to look on Nicholas Posin's work, so some examples that he made. You know? And what we have next is the Oath of Horate that you're trying to, to tell to us no, you owe patriotism no, and masculinity that they wanted to protect other their uh, country. So next is the Grande de Odaliski, which described no as a uh, elegance and purity one. And at the example, so this in the picture are uh, showing the body of an uh, of a, a male per a female person, or in showing a big hip, yung kanyang balahang, yung kanyang legs, no and yung kanyang front no are, are the best part are not being covered with any garments but yung uh, hair niya or yung head niya is being on the top of it something that is being put no on the picture so what do we have more sa ating sa la grande or the list no uh, characters also sabi ko kanina yung depicting of the concubine no na uh, picture ni uh, gawa no ni Jean Dominic Odikiski na meron tayo. So what do we have more is the uh, romanticism. So sa romanticism it is stressing the imagination, emotion and freedom to create. So as we guy as we try to it's uh, describe this one it is you no know, a, a freedom now of significance of the social you no know, over conformity of the rational exploration of the natural and fantasies of a uh, painter. So, kaya ngayon sa the, mga painting ngayon are mostly, no, are 
nonconformity or conformity one or some of sense of national rationalism exploration from their emotions and imagination as to part to create subject matter. So the third of May, so this is reflects of the Napoleon's resistance of invader of France and Spain. So the Oasis of Peninsular. So third of May is the day of the 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 uh sumuko no natinatawa. Next is the wonder of the sea of Pal. It's trying to look at excessive emotions in your imagination. It's trying to look no on that way of how uh, expressive emotion no, or rationalism. Next is the the rough of Medusa. So illustrate the intense emotion no of the period during the time as tried to get no of the people uh, na namatay o mga nahulog mula sa labanan and they wanted to save no, and to cure this uh, following people. While here in the leader of uh, leader in the liberty leading the people, they're trying to. Uh, uh, fight for their liberty, their freedom. No, since it looks to yung ano dito yung pangyari sa kanila during that time, yung namumuno. So kaya nga may bata dito, may hawak siya ba? These women na empowering. No? And also, these two mga nandito na kalaban na and yung iba na matay na nakasamahan nila. Well, yung realism naman or yung style is a naturalistic approach of the subject matter. So it's so. So it involved the past, the process of the classical formula of academic paintings. We're in subject from everyday life. Like what do we have is the social exposed no, of the Arnans Burya. So here is depicting no, of a funeral ceremony. We know that the funeral ceremony one, right? So if I'm in the being or there is somebody that should die in our family or relatives, no, and they have no the Christianity symbol, the cross, and they have the father or the priest one that we're going to be mass presider and will be the one to give no the healing no in faith. So that will be hap that been happened to Ornans Ornans place during 1815 in Borja. So we have here yung Millet, the Gleaners, and the Angelus one. So the Gleaners is the one that made no by a Millet. We were in no, nilini nilinis nila yung party dyan ng lugar na natira after no parang harvest na in the farms. Then they will be paid for this no of work. Then the next picture is the Angelus were in, in the 12 noon, no, sa tanghalian at saka sa hapunan, no, 6 p.m. So they will be pray the Angelus so mayra dito yata in church so when they heard no uh, the ring of bell so they did they, they stop for a while and then they pray together with the Angelus so uh, ito the flex the a rosary one that they have no, during that time so next what do we have is the impression so when i say impression is mere characterized as unfinished sketches or an it is an only an impression of somebody. So when you see a person, it is an impression of uh, somebody. No, it is a distinct style of uh, character that you been uh, see in this individual. So these are no uh, unfinished one no, that you describe. And next thing is during that one is the mid late nineteenth century. So that is the time of. Uh, rising naman, ng development of photography. So that's why it's a challenge for painting, uh, silk screen, drawing, no, to, to, to get no more here in the problem of uh, introducing no, the photography. So, sabi nga, di ba, no, in our discussion from the previous one, uh, naging isang competition ito before. So next, what do we have is the example of impression of the sun. So it's only an impression of a cloud of monet works in sunrise. So sunrise mang gantong color, yung mang ganitong itsura na uh, uh, impression. So it is for him not to interpret no in an experiment way. So next is an impressionism no late is an exhibition no of works there with a strong opposition. So these are experimented no and which effect of the uh, works no kanilang ginawa from the print uh, way of application of the use of medium na meron sila next is post impressionism so post impressionism they were trying to describe no yung kanilang works no by trying to put no yung uh, vibrant colors 
and complementary harmonies colors that they have and has no a uh, combinations no, of striking ng ginawa nila no, to influence yung uh, works then ng uh, use ng uh, post impression impressionism in the late part so patapos na no yung kanilang uh, uh, style yung impressionism so we have here example of works of Paul Zizine, Paul Gagin, at Chani Vincent Van Gogh. So first one yung card there, one it's a sceneries, no? It has uh, uh, typical pipe type of cards painting. So we're in, it's a not only two individuals are playing the cards, also three, no? Some parts are having a uh, crowd of by uh, people who are watching or walking around, and many more. And here, where do we live? Came from and what we. Are we and where are we going to is uh, an inspiration of you know, from our religion from what we discussed na yung mga where are my principles in life are are those things you no know, could be possible it looks like on that one next is the starry night already discussed before this one your know, pictures were in our Vincent Bango standing and looking up in the window and outside they captured you know, the picture of this following you know, press of moon yung ating mga stars, may mga halo. I do not know what this is, no, talks about and kung ano man yung meron siyang gusto yung describe, no, but some of the conspiracy theory we will describe as a UFO, as a thing that being described no, on many explanation. And one thing is, she is, or he is uh, mentally disturbed. That's why, no, he had, no, lacerated his uh, ears, no, in his life. So, yun yung mga nangyari din sa mga ibang parte ng mga. But, ito rin yung pinaka naging sikat sa mga artworks niya no, ni Vincent Van Gogh as the uh, uh, per kanyang works of painting. While expressionism is center of the expression of the inner emotion. So that's why no, in the work of Edward Marsh on the screen, it is ex uh, exaggerated way of uh, portraying of some distorted expressions of ideas of the feelings that could be no, possible no, uh, in the under of the state of problem and under of the state of high intense no and which no could not be in the natural or uh, in the normal situation of an individual no so these are steering no of the emotions because of the shift of the industrialization focus in the modern times so everyone could not be easily in a ship and adapt our new normal and everyone's being shocked and everything is being distorted in your mind and you could not be easily you know uh, think well yung mga meron tayo dito and you visualize you know, and you reflect on what society do you have right now so like what do we have in the screen the bed very much chalking to a picture of something that uh, say let's say you, you do not know expect yourself that you are here uh, you are being amazed or you're being uh, not familiar with that place or maybe it looks like that you are uh uh, let's say you're not looks like no, an uh, uh, safe here, no, in the picture. That's why you're being scream, you're being afraid, no, and you want to go in the same place, no, and you don't know what you're going to do in your life in that moment. So it is a street in Berlin, and it's a scene wherein it's trying to show no, a picture of vivid colors and at the same time of the day to day lives no, in the streets. How do they look to the people here? They live in the elegance and uh, yeah, yung mga babae that, that we have you know, in the streets in Berlin. And while actually, it is sikat sa kanila na in Berlin, no, prostitution sa mga bagay na uh, nangyari din yan no, during that time. Even in Paris, no, it's already no, uh, happened no, also. The Bride of the Wind, if, oh, I'm not sure kung itong groom niya it's still be uh, alive or you see si Bride are uh, gusto makasama to kanyang groom with his uh, 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 husband na uh, makikita natin ito. Next is the expression is in parent. So we have the bridge and the blue rider one no? is significant no? also that it happened before. So yung work naman ni Henry Mathis is a fovism type wherein characterized as like what they have in expressionism of work ni Gagin at ni Van Gogh. Because here we are trying to put no, an exhibition no, of uh, way of an artist na uh, they are using no of overpowering tone of colors so tingnan natin yung looks no ng picture ng ginawang painting niya 
So si woman with hat ni Henry Mattis, actually it is her uh, uh, wife si Ma- si Mrs. Mattis, no? they trying to capture this wife na marriage. So because siguro ganda-ganda siya, they wanted to become a single subject of this works no of art. Wa yung blood nude na meron tayo, showing of the picture, yung breast no and uh, uh, picture of the uh, what you call it yung uh, anatomy no isang babae that looks like no okay. no next what do we have is the old king so some of the researches na in google does not have any identification or description of this ones of the old king so we have the charing cross the bridge by under the rain and we will now be having to jump another style which is futurism so futurism it is more on the mechanized the beauty of speed and energy and a juxtaposition of organic and man-made forms remember our juxtaposition in the presenting of the art of subject and we have already discussed now the different styles na meron tayo doon ano po yung transparency meron din tayo noon so yun yung mga pwede natin makita this way of putting a futurism you are putting no and a thing in an ordinary one they try to do no, abstract and speed na meron tayo. Sa abstract and speed that what we have, it's something to do with a uh, car naman na uh, how they did looks life no, of the uh, the motion of studies na meron tayo. So, they, they move forward, they move fast no, in the uh, futuristic style. So, industrialization of the economics no, of the society. Here is the funeral of the anarchists. They wanted to protect no, yung mga tao and the government ay niya papuntahin. And I, hindi, wala siyang pakailam. Yung mga tagalabas, people on them, no, they want to try to to, to say dito sa tao. So yun, yung armored car train din, ganun din. Yung juxtaposition, no, trying to do no, yung futuristic style. So if you miss him, we have geometrical shapes, no, and has two classic no, type. We have yung analytical and synthetic. So, pag sinabing analytical naman, it is being reconstructed. No? So, reconstructed, these are complex two-dimensional components that being tried to put, no, to one another. So, sa kabila naman sa synthetic naman, kung makikita natin, it is uh, rather than the analytical. So, it is an opposite. It is more on the features of developing one. No? On the process of uh, arts no, na synthetic. So, dito makikita natin yung works yung Avignon tsaka yung kipab, uh, isa pa na work ng uh, value in the picture. So, ito yung mga prostitute girl no, that been created by Pablo Picasso na nakikita daw dun sa isang lugar at naging partner ng no, kanilang uh, parang uh, slaves. No? And uh, this is the story of uh, a crime no, na meron sila. Next is the violin in the picture one yung mga pwede natin makita is trying only to, to show no, yung geometric shapes na no, no ating the violin and feature. So, Dadaism naman, it started with intellectual people no, with headed by Tristan Tazara. So, these are more on the Dadaist corner of the Burgess concept of art as commodity. So, they've been now using this too for a uh, everyday life and works of uh, somehow of the uh, people they use no in their houses anymore. So we have you know, other works in that the ASIM sabi ko kanina this are collage and mixed media and their commodity. So we have here is realism. So if you have study no before you general psychology, so you have been already encountered to see psychoanalytic theories by Sigmund Freud. We have the provinces no, na meron tayo in the mind which is the conscious the unconscious and the last one is the subconscious mind the subconscious mind it is in the back of the mind it is our slip of the tongue what we have said no for a certain uh, circumstances that we uh, accidentally no happen to us so these are subconscious no or in the back of the mind on the tip of the tongue that we we could not be uh, t- tell no clearly or we unconsciously tell it no by the image are uh, surreal one so in the dreams like in the big thing no 
in the picture of this. So these are typically no combinations no, of the dreams in the persistence of memory and combinations of objects that you have uh, get no, from it and you have a dreaming of two. So you could not uh, easily remember, you could not easily uh, put no, the object in, in natural. It is being distorted. No? You cannot uh, picture out no, the picture clearly or uh, clear no, in your mind. So kaya nga pag sinabi, kapag nakapa, pag ano ka na, nakapanaginip-niginian, uh, I try to, no, to understand better o yung ating sa uh, surrealistic technique na meron tayo. So, di ba, dalawa yun. So, you trying to put, no, on that one, you will be get, no, uh, the idea and you will not be get the idea dun sa other one. So, next is the digital and neoplasticity. Dito naman is... Uh, basic geometrical shapes or figures ang ginamit nila only lines no horizontal and vertical so they they have used no color also yung mga primary the red blue and yellow the black and white so like what we have no they they share no the pure painting no yung characteristics na meron dito so this painting na is reductionist no pagbabawas na pagtatanggal na ng na uh, picture no of the harmony and order of the ideal na modernizing society so, ito yung pwede makita natin from the picture. So, parang component siya ng computer. It has vertical and horizontal, straight lines, and also yung mga square. It has the colors of yellow, blue, white, no, and red. Also, this one. And we have abstract expressionism. We have already known abstract, yes? no. So, this are interaction of the uh, making up a rapidly use of verse of force to the canvases that you have and rapidly effort showing your emotions as you try to to convey no, on your canvas. So it is a plane that colors should be painted in a huge canvas that will be now uh, created by you or by the artist. So ito yung pwede natin makita. So ang alam ko, this is a crime also that in prostitution in uh, tong babae na to na nangyari. Ito naman yung lavender mist, no? abstract also. Next, the white center of Rojo, it is a bold color that we use only and then doesn't have any uh, size, no? only a, a lines, no, of horizontal. Next, we have pop art. You already understand the pop art in our previous discussion and the uh, arts, non visual arts. So these are the magazine advertisements, some of the covers of the supermarket products for, for everyone, no, advertising of their products. So we have your works no nito. Yeah. So you target with four faces no ni Jasper Chance. So in the circle and in the, in the center of the circle no will be the parang yung uh gitna no na makikita natin. Next is yung uh, commercial also they describe no yung entertaining no of the lives no, or the lifestyle of people before and nowadays. No? This one, yung canyons neto, it is a combination of ano kasi, sculpture and painting. Actually, itong nandito na picture natin, it's an igen, no? It's a sculpture one. And while here is the philo, no, na meron pa. Yan. Next is the camper. That's like what we have now in the ordinary uh, market. We have yung mga sargils, yung mga canned goods. It has also label. Where in label are found, no, in the outermost, uh, sorry, no, yung outermost uh, part na having uh, the information of the product, no, of what is this all about. Yung WAM. So yung WAM natin is onomatopoeia, a words that create sounds, no, or effect. Like in TikTok, Ding Dong, Giz, no, no, uh, yun yung mga pwede natin makita. Okay po. So 